All right, so 4.2 multiplying matrices now. So, how can you tell if you can multiply matrices together? Well, if the column of the first row and the second are the same, so this is basically how it works. Um, here's your first matrix dimensions. It's a 2 by 3 matrix. Then the next matrix is a 3 by 4 matrix. If the column of the first and the row of the second match, then you can multiply them together. Okay, so see how they match? It means I can multiply them together. So this one, can I multiply these together? No, because this is a 2 and this is a 3, so I cannot multiply them together. Mr. Callahan, I need your John Hancock on these reports. John Hancock. It's so here's A and here's B. <laughs> so when we're doing this. The first one is a 3 row by 2 column. That's how I got a 3 by 2. The second one is a 2 by 2. So the answer is yes, because there's a 2 here and here. I can multiply them together because they're the same. In all actuality, I already know the shape that it's going to be. My answer's going to be in the shape of a 3 by 2, because whatever ones are on the outside, that's what the shape of my matrix is going to be. See that? A 3 and a 2? That's what the shape of my final matrix will be. So I can multiply these. To multiply, what you do is you take the first row and you multiply it by the first column. That's what you do at B. First row times the first column. It's actually pretty simple, but it can get confusing. And why that? I mean you take negative 17 times 18 plus negative 3 times 19. Remember, first row, first column. I end up with 360. Uh, negative 363. Then you do the first row by the second column. So that's negative 17 times negative 16 plus negative 3 times negative 5. That gives us 287. Okay. Next up, now I move down because I did this first row the whole way across. Next up is the second row by the first column. So 18 times 18 plus 1 times 19, which gives me 343. And then I do the second row by the second column. So it would be 18 times negative 16 plus 1 times negative 5. And that gives me negative 293. Now that the second row is done the whole way across, now I move on to the third row. So it's the third row times the first column. So it's negative 15 times 18 plus negative 6 times 19, which gives me 384. Then it's negative, uh, that's the, sorry, then it's the third row by the last column, the second column there, so it's negative 15 times negative 16 plus negative 6 times negative 5. And there is your matrix. And like I said, the answer is a 3 row by 2 column. It's whatever the two outsides are. It's a 3 by 2 is your answer, for example, too. So now we have a 2 by 2, and it says first multiply it this way, and then multiply it the other way around. And we're going to see if we end up getting the same answers. So this is a 2 row by 2 column. It's a 2 row by 2 column, so the middles mean that I can multiply. And the outside tells me what my answer is going to look like, so it's going to be a 2 by 2 answer. So to do A, B, I do the first row by the first column. So negative 3 times 4 plus negative 19 times negative 1, I get 7. Then I do the first row by the second column. That's negative 3 times negative 19 negative plus negative 19 times negative 12, and I put 285. Then I do the second row by the first column. And when I do that, that's 3 times 4 plus 13 times negative 1, which is negative 1. Then I do the second row by the second column, so that's uh, 3 times negative 19 plus 13 times negative 12, and that's negative 213. And there is your matrix for AB. Now that's AB. Now I need to do BA. Well, BA is a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 2, so that means by the middles I can do it. And by the outside, my answer will be a 2 by 2. So I take the first row in B by the first column then. So that's 4 times negative 3 plus negative 19 times 3.
and that gives me negative 69. Then I take the first row by the second column. So 4 times negative 19 plus negative 19 times 13, and I get negative 323. As you can already tell, it's not the same answer. Then I take the second row by the first column, so negative 1 times negative 3 plus negative 12 times 3, and I get negative 33. Then I take the second row by the second column, so negative 1 times negative 19 plus negative 12 times 13, and I end up with negative 137 as my answer. Hey, does this suit make me look fat? No, no, no. Your face All right, so we have two softball teams, and they submit equipment lists for the season. You got the women's team and the men's team, and they need 12 uh, bats, 45 balls, 15 helmets. Then the men need 15 bats, 38 balls, and 17 uniforms. Each bat costs 21, each ball costs 4, and each uniform costs 30. Use matrix multiplication to find the total. So there is the women and the men. Well, we know what they all are, and there's the bats, balls, and uniforms. So literally, I just plugged everything in, right? Bats for women are 12. Bats for men are 15. Balls for women are 45. Balls for men are 38. Uh, uniforms for women are 15. Uniforms for men are 17. And then, that is a 3 by 2. Now I have the price of each, right? I have to figure out how I can arrange this. I have the cost for the balls is 21, the cost, or sorry, the cost for bats is 21, balls 4, and uniforms is 30. Now this right now is a 1 by 3. If I set it up long ways, up and down, like a 21, then a 4, then a 30, that would be a 3 by 1, and I couldn't multiply these together. So the only way I could multiply this together is if I turn this into a 1 by 3, because remember, I need to have the middles be the same, which means my answer is going to be a 1 by 2. So the first row by the first column, that means it's 21 times 12 plus 4 times 45 plus 30 times 15, that gives me 882. Then it is the first row by the second column, it's 21 times 15 uh, plus 4 times 38 plus 30 times 17, and you get 978. So that's the total of what's going to cost for equipment for the, the women and the men, and if I wanted the total between the two, I could just add those two together. So there's the homework. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email me.